very much. Good morning, Monica. Yes. Uh, I do? Good for me. What's wrong with you? Well, have you seen the OR schedule? No. It just, it's just a shambles, but I'm sorry. Uh, where is Bobby, do you know? Uh, she won't be coming in today. Is she sick? No, she has some problems at home. She called me early this morning. Jake is missing. What? I, I don't know much about it. She just said she wanted to stay by the phone in case he tried to call her. Well, I hope everything's all right. Yeah, so do I. I'm sorry about this schedule. Yeah, so am I. I mean, since uh, Lucy Coe was suspended, I had depended on Bobby to just make sure the schedules get in on time. Huh. I know. I put a temporary nurse on duty until Bobby gets back. Well, I appreciate that. That's a lovely gesture. It isn't going to do me much good. I've got three urgent cardiac surgeries scheduled. I had to reschedule the whole surgical team. But I need help. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Hi, Alan. What are you doing here? I I'll work here. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Look, Alan, I really don't have time for this. I do have to get the surgery. Excuse me. Monica. What? You were supposed to be at your son's parent teach day. Today? Yes, today, Monica. You oh. promised both of them that you would be there. I completely forgot. Oh, what a surprise. Well, I cannot run out on a surgery, Alan. Come on, um, you'll have to cover for me, okay? What else is new? Look, what do you want me to do? I want you to start acting like a proper mother. I am a mother. I'm also a doctor. So am I, Monica. And if you haven't noticed, I've got patients as well. Yes, you do have patients, and you can reschedule your patients. I don't have that luxury. What? What do you think that I'm doing here all day? You think I should put a gone fishing sign up on the door and then just call it a day? No. No, I don't think you can. What about Sister Mary Camellia? What about her? Call her. Maybe she can fill in for a few hours for you. I don't even know that she's working here today. Sister Camellia won't be coming in today. Does she have the flu like everybody else? No, she called early and said she had some family problems she had to take care of. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, of course, but you're, you're right. The thing is that this is a team, and I ought to be there to help you. You've got your hands full, and there's nothing more we can do. How could they both disappear? Well, this has got to be Lucy's doing. Jake said he was bringing her back to Port Charles. All right. I want an interstate APB put out if they're not found in the next two hours. I thought I'd wait until the reports came back from the New York hospitals. They're running a check on their John Doe patients. I don't know whether we should wait. I think we owe it to Jake. He must know what he's doing. What if he's hurt? Well, what's happening with Duke's parole? We're still waiting. He hasn't gone in for the hearing yet. I'll call you as soon as I know. You tell him that we're all pulling for him. Thank you. I'll call you later. Anna? You hang in there. Thank you. They wanted me to tell you that all your friends in Port Charles are waiting for you. I'm very lucky to have friends like Frisco and Felicia. I'm not too sure that I deserve them at this point, though. Yes, you do. That's not true, Duke. Well, I appreciate all the support. I could use all the good wishes that I get. But if the board don't grant me parole, I'll have to wait three months more to get another hearing. But there's all those letters of recommendation are going to make a big difference to the board. I'm not sure the letters are enough, Anna. What do you think, Mr. Nelson? I've been studying Duke's case. I see no real reason why the board should vote against him. You see? But we have to keep in mind that Duke has only served a few weeks of his original sentence. Oh, can't you make the board realize that the longer they keep him here, the more chance of him being killed? I'll do my best, but some of our more conservative politicians are bound to start screaming if he's released too soon. Would they rather see an innocent man die? I'm not innocent, Camelia. In God's eyes, you're innocent. How'd it go? I don't know. They're a tough crowd. Got to wait for a decision. Well, what do you think the decision's going to be? I think this time I'm going to make parole. Good luck. What's he in for? He killed a shopkeeper in the middle of an armed robbery. You see, and he's up for parole. Do you think I have a good chance? Yes, I do. I think you're more deserving. Besides, Robin and I need you. Oh, it is so good to be needed. We're ready for you, Ace. Hold on, your fingers crossed, pal. Okay, good luck, man. I don't 
anyone who takes another man's life should be punished. So we all have our faults, Camellia. Who among us has the right to decide another man's fate? Uh, Robin, um, she wants me to tell you that she can't wait for me to see her skating and practicing every afternoon with Sam. Oh, really? Mm hmm What about her bagpipe playing, Arthur? Oh, well, we're on hiatus. What, is she tired of it already? No, it's just that I... I, I told her it was, um, it's a summer recreation, really. <laughs> Can't bear it anymore. <laughs> Things don't look good. Take it, take it just into yours. Pentley. We're ready for you, Lavery. I'm gonna be waiting right here. I'll be praying for you, Duke. There's a couple for me, sister. Got a feeling I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Good luck. Some of the descriptions of the John Doe's are starting to come in over the computers. Do any of the descriptions match Jake? Not yet. But as soon as they're all in, I'll let you know. Thanks. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. What did Sean say? He said that he would keep an eye on the clock so I could spend the day with you. Oh, foolish. Just thank you. But I don't need a babysitter. No, I know you don't, Bobby. But you just need a friend right now. And you've been there enough for Frisco and me. I think it's time that I return the favor. Thanks, I really don't want to be alone. I know. Why don't we call? Something must happen. Why don't we work? Hello, Jake? Uh, no, Bobby. It's Buzz Stryker. Oh, hi. I guess you haven't heard anything. No, nothing yet. I'm sorry. I really hate to bother you with hospital business at a time like this, but I'm in a bit of a jam here. Why? What happened? Well, I made the mistake of assigning another nurse to work up the OR schedule. Monica had some trouble making any sense of it. Now we have to reschedule to accommodate some emergency cardiac surgery. Oh, Buzz, I'm sorry. I don't think I'd be much good in the OR today. No, no, no. I don't need you for that, Bobby. I just, I was wondering if you could come in for a couple of hours and straighten out this OR schedule. Oh. Well, uh, sure, I suppose I could come in for a little while. Felicia's here, and, and I guess she could call me at the hospital if she hears from Frisco or Jake. Bobby, I really appreciate this. Hey, it's my job. I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Bye. Emergency at the hospital? Yeah, they're having problems over there with the OR schedule. I shouldn't be too long. Okay, I'll be here in case anybody calls. Thanks, Felicia. Okay. Bye. Right. Oh. Uh, hi, you Mrs. Meyer? Yes, I am. You want me to take a look at your furnace? Oh, dear, I forgot all about it. My husband called for the appointment. He's, uh, he's not here right now. Well, do you want to do it some other time, then? Uh, well, no, actually, why don't we just go ahead and do it? Uh, Felicia, can you show this gentleman to the base? Sure, you go and go to the hospital. Okay, thank you. Okay. Just pointing in general direction, and I'll get started on that. All right, this way. Uh, just a minute. I'm expecting an important phone call, and I don't want the caller to think nobody's home. a very big knock on that head. Forgive the cliche, but where am I? You're in New York City. Doctor's hospital. What happened? I was hoping that you could tell me. I don't remember very much. Oh. Mm. Well, the police brought you in last evening. Well, you're very lucky. Your injuries were only superficial. There doesn't seem to be any neurological damage. Has my wife been notified? Uh, when you were brought in, we had no identification, so we didn't call anyone. What about my wallet? Well, I checked with whomever gave you that big nasty bump on the head. Lucy. Is that your wife? No, it's somebody I've been traveling with. Do you know if she's been apprehended by the police? I'm afraid not. Uh, I only know what's in the chart. The police didn't mention anything about a woman. Well, what's in the chart? It says that you were found on the floor of the woman's restroom at LaGuardia Airport. Oh, yes. Now I remember. That means she got away. I gotta call my wife. She must be beside herself. Ah. It's busy. Not the 
go back in a few minutes. She's probably wondering what the hell happened to me.